Okay, so we're looking at rounding. Now, if I ask you to round this to the nearest hundred, you need to know which digit is in the hundreds column. Okay, so let's just review uh, place value. Okay, so we have three digits here. Mm -hmm. What place is the one digits in? Um, the ones place value. Ones, good. What place is the digit four? What place is that in? The tens. What? Tens, tens, good. And then eight is in? The hundreds. Hundreds, good. Okay, so if you remember place value, you should always kind of indicate which digit is in which place value. Now I'm asking you to round this to the nearest hundred. Mm -hmm. So first you're going to underline, so let's use blue, mm -hmm. which digits in the hundreds column? Yep. The eight. eight. Now, whichever digit we underline, we're going to look at the number next door, mm -hmm. right next to it. And see if it's 4 or down or 5 exactly. or up. Exactly. If it's 4 or down, you round down. Good. If it's 5, five or, or up, you round, round up. Good. So if the number is less than 5, okay, you round we round up. down. The number stays the same. If the number is 5 or greater, we round up. So anything less than 5 would be 4 three, two, one. one, and anything five or greater would be five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight nine. nine, and I also forgot zero, right? Zero is less than five also. That's also a digit. Okay, so we look, we underline eight, which is our hundreds. We look at the number next to it, and it's less than five, mm -hmm. which means that this is going to stay the same. Mm -hmm. So rounded to the nearest hundred would be eight. eight that hundred. stays the same, and then we put hundred. zero, zero, two, places after the eight, two digits, and it would be 800 to the nearest hundred. And think about it. Think of the number 841. What's she eating? If we have 800 and 900, what's halfway between 800 and 900? Um, halfway between 850. Good. And the number we were looking at was 841. Is that closer to 800? So it's going to be somewhere around here. Is it closer to 800 or is it closer to 900? 800. It's closer to 800. So to the nearest 100 is 800. Okay, so what if we want to round, what if we're now looking to round to the nearest 10? So once again, let's fill in our place value. We know that this is the ones place, this is tens, and this is hundreds. Now if I want you to round to the nearest 10, mm -hmm. which digit is in the tens place? Um, Good, two. Where do I look? Where do I look to see if I'm gonna round up or down? Um, to the ones. Yep, I look next door to the right. Always look to the right. Now this is the digit is seven. Is that five or greater? Mm -hmm. So we're going to round this up. number up. So what's one up from two? Three. Good. So, so it would be six hundred and thirty. We didn't do anything with the six because we're rounding to the nearest ten. Sorry, three. We round it up. So this is six hundred thirty. Nearest 10. Good. And think about counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Right? Okay. Now rounding to the nearest thousand. Let's write the place values again. Ones, tens, hundreds. And where? what is the eight? Where is that? What place value is that in? Um, thousands. Thousands. Good. So if I want you to round this to the nearest thousand... This digit's in the thousands column. Mm -hmm. You look next door. Is that five or greater or is it less than five? Less than five. So same. this stays the same. same. All the others become zero. Good. Now what if we're going to do the exact same number, just as extra practice. I want you to round it to the nearest hundred. So let's use a different color here. Which digit is in the hundreds column? That digit. Okay. So we look, look next door. Next door. And it's five. So, so what happens to the one? If the number next to it is 5 or greater, it, change it to a two. we change it to a 2. And what happens to our 10s and 1s? And it becomes 0. And our 1,000s? It stays the same. Stays the same. So to the nearest 100 is 8,200 or 8,200. What about to the nearest 10? Um, Look next door. So we keep the 8, the 1, and we have to figure out if we have to change the 5 if we have, or if it stays the same. Well, if we look next door, this is... It's two, so it stays the same. It stays the same. Good. Okay.